Hello viewers, hope you're keeping well in Christ Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is Catherine Folusho and if it is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe, press the notification bell, drop a comment and share with your friends and family. As we continue with the book of Proverbs chapter 1, today we are going to read from the scriptures uh, from verses 8. My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instructions. What you learn from them will crown you. Hallelujah. What you're going to learn from your parents is going to crown your life. Hallelujah. And be a chain of honor around your neck. So every word that you get from your parents, every word that you get from your mother, from your father, it's going to be like a necklace on your neck. It's going to crown your head because these people have already gone before you. They've got already gone uh, in life with challenges of life. They've passed through tests, so they know when they speak to you. I remember when I was growing up, when I was being given instruction, I would feel like these instructions. Why are you giving me this kind of instruction? You guys, your time has passed now. It is our time. I think our life is looking different. But no, they are looking at us with an eye of understanding. And they are looking at us through the future and the character that you begin to develop. When they see this character is not going to help you in the future. Or these are the phrase that you are going to keep. They will always give you instruction. They will always rebuke you. So if I really got that rebuke and understood my parents very well, there are some things I wouldn't have gone through in my life. There are some things, the tests that I wouldn't even test. But the Bible tells us that you as a child, if you take the instructions of your father, oh my God, if you take the instructions of your father, these instructions, these are people who have gone before you. They've gone through life. They know what is what you're going to do when you do this. They, they already passed through that. So the young ones, as you're growing, you listen to the elders. You listen because they've already, the wise man says that before you come, before you get into a fall, there will be pride. Pride comes before a fall. So there will be pride when before even you fall. So once there is pride, Pride will make you not understand. Pride will make you not hear. Pride will make you even start complaining and wondering, why are these people telling me this? Why are they telling me this? Ah, this is stone age. This is old age. No, no, no. But the book of Proverbs, if you understand it very well, it has instructions. So our children out there, listen to your parents. Listen to your fathers. Listen to your mothers. When they give you instructions that are good, not instructions that are evil, instructions that are good that are going to build you if you listen with understanding there's some things you will work in life and you will be like oh my god i thank god because i listened to my mother he warned me about this my father instructed me in this type of things this type of relationships do not entertain yourself with this and if i ever listen some things i wouldn't have gone but because i have known and the book of proverbs is telling you if you have it it's going to crown you. Imagine having that understanding. It's going to crown you in your life. That you will have the spirit of discernment. When this kind of relationships comes in your life. You know how to go about. You will speak with wisdom. You will, we, will work with understanding. And you will be so wise. So as we continue. I'd like you if it is your first time. Kindly press the notification bell. So that you know when I'm uploading the next video and also drop a comment let me know what you think about these instructions that our parents are giving us with wisdom and understanding give me your testimony or share a story or share you what your lifestyle what you've gone through if it was not of your parents or your elder brothers or elder sisters they talked to you and you never under uh, took any in any point of view just to have that an example in your life let us share this share with your friends and family and may the lord bless you shalom 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 see you next time bye